Um, hi, my name is Salima Thorpe. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little shy, <laughs> but I'm going to just tell you real quick uh, about my experience. I am in my early 40s. I have been, before I came to Dr. Wander, I suffered from hot flashes that were out of this world where I had like, it could be negative seven degrees outside and I'm riding around in a patrol car and I have everyone with the windows down. So I'm freezing, the prisoner's freezing, everyone's freezing. Um, I had a lot of fatigue. I would sleep half the day away, 10 to 12 hours, and I would still wake up tired. I um, had brain fog. Sometimes I would forget things that I should typically be remembering, you know, um, simple things before I left the house. Um, sometimes it is just cloudiness. I, um, I suffer from minor depression. I know I have a very stressful job, but I related it to my job. Mm -hmm. And things, I was just very overly sensitive and um, I couldn't understand why, but I thought it, I blamed it on my job. And really that wasn't a problem. I had aches in my knees and my joints, my feet, standing on my feet. My feet would hurt. And I thought this was all related to the fact that I'm in my 40s now, so this is what a woman or a person goes through when they say you're getting up in age. I thought it was normal, so I didn't really know my body. I've been suffering with hot flashes probably for the last three and a half years. Um, I had, um, I didn't dream, rarely I dreamt. I woke up five times in the night, four to five times, three, four times to be. Um, I didn't use the bathroom every day, sometimes I, once a day, sometimes once every three days, if I go on vacation, maybe at the end of the vacation. And um, that was a norm for years since I was in my 20s. Um, well, my mom brought me to this seminar with Dr. Wander. Um, before I came here, like maybe a year and a half before getting here, I, um, I got tired you know, about a year ago. I, I was very concerned about being premenopausal from the hot flashes. It was like at night, it was doing a job. When I eat certain foods, um, I would just start flashing and sweating. So I went to my doctor, I'm like, doctor, I need you to like really go over me and you know, like something's going on. I'm young and I'm premenopausal. So she was like, okay, we'll go get your blood work. Got the blood work done, came back with the results. She said, oh, you're not menopausal. Your, you know, your hormone levels are a little off, but you're not menopausal. Then she was like, well, um, have you experienced anything else? And I would tell her, well, my knees are achy. Um, you know, I lift weights, um, I work out, and every time I've been, I would hear crack, crack. <laughs> I can't do squats without hearing all this noise. It's embarrassing. So um, she was like, okay. So she starts feeling around my neck, and she was like, hmm, have you ever felt this? I said, felt what? I, she was like, did you ever check, you know, for lumps? Or, anything. I was like, yeah, all the time I do breast checks and everything. She was like, what about your thyroid? I said, thyroid? And I was like, I, she said, no, not that, your thyroid. I was like, I'm not really familiar with this whole thyroid. She was like, it's in your neck. She said, have you ever felt a lump? I was like, no, I lift weights and I lift pretty heavy. So my, at that time, my shoulders were pretty broad and I thought that came with having a big neck. So she was like, no. She was like, you have a massive lump on your neck. Your thyroid is very enlarged. Let me send you to get an um, ultrasound. So I break out crying because I'm sensitive, you know? Not normally, but I'm very sensitive. So I go to um, the uh, endocrinologist, is that one? Yeah. So I go to get the ultrasound and they, um, run tests on me, stick needles from one side of my neck through to the other side, with nothing but ice to numb it. Um, came back, um, they said that I had an enlarged thyroid, I had nodules on it. One side was a roider that was so large that was pushing over my esophagus where it was cutting off my airway. 
So that explained the problem why I snore. And, um, you know, my boyfriend would tell me I snore. And, I'm, you know, at one point I didn't snore. I thought because I was a little overweight. Look at me. <laughs> I was thinking I was overweight a little bit because I gained like maybe 15 pounds and it's hard to keep off. So I asked the doctor, what is, the, what, what is this problem? I have a, a enlarged thyroid. Where did it come from? How did it get to this point? She was like, well, it could be a number of things. She was like, see, your thyroid is like your thermostat. And something's going on in your body where it's not shutting off. It's constantly overworking. It's going all the time. It's not something, a signal to your brain is supposed to shut it down. And it's not happening. I said, well, ma'am, like, what's causing this? And she said, I don't know. I can't really tell you what's causing this. I'm, First thing I'm thinking is like, well, how am I supposed to fix it if you're telling me you can't tell me what's causing it? So she said, well, you know, you can always go see a, you know, a specialist. So I said, okay, I'm going to go to go to John Hopkins, to the best, and I'm going to go to this thyroid specialist that worked on my sergeant. She had thyroid cancer, it had it removed. She said how great she is and how good of a surgeon she is. So I went to her and I asked her, I said, um, ma'am, um, could you tell me why I'm having this problem? And she said the same thing my doctor said. It could be a number of things. I really can't pinpoint it. Um, I said, well, my doctor, the only suggestion she gave me was have it removed, take it out because if it gets any bigger, it could possibly cut off your airway. And it was huge. And, and I talked to the specialist and she was like, well, can you breathe okay? I said, yeah, when I lay down, I could feel it kind of with pressure on my neck and I, I wake up snoring, I could hear myself snoring, so it wakes me up at times. And she was like, well, is it hindering your way of life? I said, no, it's not. Um, I, I have flashes and so forth. She was like, well, I'm not going to suggest you take it out right now. I could take half of it and you can live without medication with the other half of your thyroid or you could just wait until later and when it gets worse and then we could just take it out. And I wasn't happy with any of those results, any, any of those suggestions. So I said, okay. So my mom came to me and she was like, I heard of this guy named Dr. Wander and he's having a dinner seminar and I like to eat. You know? yes. so I was like, oh, how much? She said, it's free. I was like, oh, I must go. <laughs> so, so I'm sorry, I came for <laughs> So, you know, it's an opportunity to spend some time with my mom. So we came and I listened and I'm like, he started talking about everything that I was going through from the not using the bathroom to the hot flashes to everything sleep deprivation everything and I was like that sounds like me I think I have Hash Hashimoto's I said that right right okay so um I said you know I want to get this test so I got the test and I don't have Hashimoto's and I'm like oh, he can't help me <laughs> you know so I said well let me just look a little further into this maybe it's something else and maybe he has an answer that my doctor doesn't have an answer. I need an answer. So I ran through these exact um, tests, and the saliva, the stool, which is the work, but I had to do it, and the blood work. And I actually took the results from the blood work, and I took it to my doctor. And I said, I'm seeing this doctor named Dr. Wonder. I need you to look at this and just tell me, does this look like anything that you would test me for? And she looked at it. And she said, who is this doctor? Mm -hmm. I said, Dr. Wander. She said, mm. well, he tested you for everything I would test you for plus some. I would have never thought about testing you for some of these things. And I'm looking at her like, you're my doctor. You should know these things, you know? So I was like, okay. So she was like, sounds like he knows what he's talking about because these are some really good tests. So I said, okay. That was my confirmation that mm -hmm. he knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I start with Dr. Wander. It's been since January 23rd was my first initial day of um, working with Dr. Wander on the program. Three weeks in, no, it's been about five weeks now, 
-hmm. Okay, I would say about three weeks in, um, I go to lunch with my mom and my brother. And we're sitting there, we're talking. And my mom looks at me, she was like, hmm, you lost some weight. I'm like, are you ready? <laughs> so, and, I'm, and my brother's like, yeah, you did. And so all of us are on a cleanse, okay? I'm on Dr. Wanders. They're on their own. My brother's on some, my mom's on some maple syrup and lemon and oh, yeah. cayenne yeah. pepper. My brother's on uh, some other, I don't know, uh, raw veggie mm -hmm. thing. I don't know, no meat. Okay, so and I'm on Dr. Wonders and, I, and he would look at my neck. He said, oh, you don't look like a quarterback anymore. <laughs> so he says that um, my neck, and they both looked at my neck and it shrunk. And I was like, really? And I, you know, you don't pay that any mind. So I was like, are you serious? So when I went home, I looked at it and my neck, it's, I know you can't see before and after, but I had a goiter that was the size of a golf ball on my neck. And in three weeks, it literally shrunk. I was like, well, maybe it's because of me, you know, the fluids or something. But I wasn't really, blo I had bloatedness, but it, my body wasn't bloated. My neck literally went down. I have lost seven pounds. Um, I always wanted to lose like 10 pounds or so. And it's only been three weeks. I lost seven pounds. Um, my knees don't crack. I could do my squats. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of them at home now mm -hmm. before I go to bed. Um, I, I sleep like a baby. I dream every night. First three nights, nightmares. But after that, it was just... <laughs> but I sleep like a baby. Um, I, um, memory fog, I don't have that anymore. I feel like, and I'm in my 40s, I feel like I'm 25 again. I literally feel like I'm 25. I'm more energetic. Um, it's just a lot of things, and this has only been within three weeks. It's amazing the changes that I've gone through. And I have probably up until like May or June working with Dr. Wander, and I can only imagine the effects and the, and the results that I'll get in the next several months. If it's only been three weeks mm -hmm. and I'm keeping the weight off and I like to eat and he didn't keep me from eating a lot of the things that I enjoy. I just had to alter some of the things that I enjoy. And when I find out that I'm not, um, I don't have to eat certain types of food, well, certain foods you can't eat. And then when you, he starts implementing it into your diet, you find out that that's not the problem. Like, you know, I can eat eggs now and, you know, and um, shrimp, you know, stuff like that, things that I enjoy. So he's not keeping me from enjoying food it's just another way and a lifestyle that I think I could continue to, you know, enjoy how I eat and, you know, the pleasures of eating because that's just, just just my thing. So I just wanted to share that with you. He's done wonders, and it's only been like four or five weeks. Wow. Thank you.